Hello everybody, my name is Sabrina Jean. Welcome to my YouTube channel and subscribers, welcome back. Welcome to this yes or no, pick a card reading, confirmations, something that you need to know, some messages from spirit to all of you for today, for right now, based on the pile or the crystal that you choose, of course. So, do you have a specific question in mind that you're looking for a confirmation, yes or no? Here is your chance. So in this video, you have four different piles to choose from, or of course, the crystal. Pile number one is a tiger's eye. Pile number two is a Lemurian quartz. Pile number three is a red jasper. And pile number four is Amazonite. And as usual, if you feel called to choose more than one pile, there's probably a reason for that. So let's get started. With pile number one. Hey there, for everybody who chose pile number one, the tiger's eye crystal, yes or no, confirmations, and then, you know, a little bit more information, something that you should become aware of. Let's put that, there we go. Let's put that right here. Okay, so let's just dive into all of your cards, yes or no. We're going to start with, let's just start with the regular tarot card. Page of Wands. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to utilize the combination of the theme, the energy, the feels in each pile to determine a yes or no. Unless, of course, there's a numerology card that comes up with the direct answer on the card. So let's just find out. Nice. Enlightenment. Well, I always enjoy enlightenment. Um, there's independence, trying something new, seek enlightenment in this situation. Wow. And also seek independence or independent thinking. There's an independence to your energy or your passion or your desire or your momentum for today. Pile number one. Celebration. Wow. Sorry, I bumped the camera. So creativity. Artistic creation and emotional expression of your creative sensitivities. Pile number one. You know what? This energy in this pile is totally resonating with day three of this current Law of Attraction workshop. Let's look at your other cards. Your higher self. So talk about being in alignment with your path, your purpose, your future. And even though I don't know what each of you are specifically asking about, I don't know, I get the sense that you're, you've created a plan and you're trying to put things together to improve yourself, your life overall. And of course, many of you might be seeking independence or freedom. Let's look at the final card. Wow. Power. Abundance opportunity. The eight also resonates with infinity, your connection to your higher self, or the spirit world, or God, or whatever you would like to call it. Having higher aspirations and dreams for yourself, and there's nothing wrong with that. Are you on the right path? Pile number one? Yeah, absolutely. I believe that you are. The diamonds here represent multiple opportunities for you to achieve your dreams or your desires or ultimately whatever it is that you're inquiring about today in this yes or no pick a card reading. So for those of you asking about money or abundance, yes is obviously your answer as well. You are being creative about manifesting more abundance, support, and opportunity in your life. And for some of you, it's all about spiritual and personal growth and rising up and connecting with your higher self and moving forward in your life. Wow. So you know what, Pile One? The universe is saying it's time for you to celebrate. Get excited. Become more aware. Expect miracles and amazing things to happen every day. Allow and expect abundance to fall into the flow of your life every day, bringing you absolutely everything that you need in every moment so that you can do whatever it is that you believe you need to do. Trust 
that you are connected with infinite abundance and potential and opportunity um, and even freedom in that matter. Wow. So obviously pile number one, yes, is your answer, your confirmation for today. So I hope these messages are resonating with whatever it is that you are asking about today. Thanks so much for subscribing to my channel. It's helping me to grow my new channel. Feel free to comment below. Let me know. Let everybody know what you're inquiring about if you want to. And if you need to choose another pile, by all means, choose another pile. Let's see what's in that for you as well. Have an amazing day. Bye for now. Hello, pile number two. Welcome to today's Yes or No Pick a Card Reading, confirmations, as well as messages from the Spirit. Something that you need to know about the situation. For those who chose this Lemurian crystal, these are your messages. And I'm going to utilize a combination of the entire theme, the feels, the emotion, the intentions, in order to determine your yes or no confirmation for today. Unless the numerology card reveals its own more direct yes or no for you. But let's just find out what the cards are saying for you today. So pile number two is Two of Cups energy promoting um, positive intentions, arrangements, agreements, contracts, marriage, partnerships, um, agreeableness. The crystal cave is reminding you to trust <laughs> trust what you're feeling trust what you're thinking trust what you are intuitive about or intuiting it's the best way to say that in this situation <clears throat> harmony Ooh, i love the fact that you've got the number for manifestation in your reading today pile number two Wow, <clears throat> the sacred temple. Ooh, I wonder if this is you. You have created your own sacred temple. Oh, so you're manifesting more agreeable partnerships, friendships, opportunities, and situations in your life. Pile number two, how many of you have been working on your own energy or law of attraction and that sort of thing? Um, because pile number two is totally resonating with this. This is saying that this is what is manifesting for you next. You've been longing for this feeling, basically, to be connected with spirit, your higher self, connected with peace and harmony and, well, friendships, community, uh, people working together. So your last card in today's pick a card... Reading is the Nine of Hearts. Let me think about this. Oh, look at that. You've got two nines. Well, nine resonates with the energy of harmony or the frequency of harmony. But with the nines here, I don't want to tell you that um, you're being overly idealistic in your expectations with what you're wanting to manifest in your life or what you're wanting to show up in your life. But there's like, there's a very spiritual aspect to pile number two. And I think spirit is just asking you and reminding you to keep the peace within. Believe, know, and trust that you're doing everything. You're on the right path. Everything is always working out for you. Spirit is guarding you, watching you, guiding you. You're also being protected. Or perhaps this is you being protective of your own space and your own energy. How many of you resonate with this? Hmm. Okay, so I'm trying to determine the yes or no. Okay, so pile two, the, this answer is based more on your, um, your feelings, your emotions, your beliefs. So... Believe in yourself. Obviously, pile two is a yes pile. But this isn't necessarily 
telling you to follow your logic. This is saying to follow your heart and believe in yourself and your dreams and what you're feeling and what gets you excited and what you long to experience, um, no matter what kind of connection or relationship this is that you desire, you're on the right path. That's what these cards are all saying to me to tell you today, pile number two. So yes, is the answer and confirmation for all of you. Feel free to comment below. Let me know what you are inquiring about today. And before you go, hey, don't forget to subscribe and I will see you in my next pick a card reading. Bye for now. Hello, pile number three. Welcome to today's yes or no pick a card reading and confirmations, plus a message from spirit, something that you need to know. Are you on the right path? Are you thinking straight? <laughs> Are you following your intuition? Pile number three. For those of you who chose the red jasper. So this is definitely a stone for strength and endurance and durability um, and support. So let's just look at your cards to see. And I'm going to utilize the total overall energy and feel and momentum of your pile to determine your yes or no confirmation for today. Wow. I'm so you're starting with nothing. How funny is that? It's like nothing. Oh, from the space of nothingness, like a black hole kind of energy. Um, everything can be created. Anything can be invented or created from this space. What's the saying? From everything comes from nothing. So, you know, um, total universal uh, creation of, of the universe theory kind of thing. First there was space, and then within that space, consciousness created itself. And then, well, the rest is history, right? Here we are <laughs> having this experience. All right. The bee spirit, ooh, gathering and collecting and harvesting prosperity. The Eight of Cups represents finding emotional balance, but usually this happens when you detach yourself from emotional triggers. Just saying. Eight is also the number for abundance and self-empowerment. Eight is also the number connecting you to infinity and your infinite potential for prosperity. But you also have the five number on here, which is, it's adding the element of uncertainty or instability or change into this equation. Pile number three. So let's look at your other cards. Ooh, I love this. So three. Intuition and manifestation. Spirit. Okay. Oh my gosh. So that's why the nothingness card popped up. Because... Basically, spirit exists in the world of, well, what we might declare is nothingness, the ether, right? So all around you are guides and angels and masters working to guide you and help you towards your prosperity, whatever it is that you are moving towards. Remember, everything comes from nothing. So... Wow, some of you who are experiencing, um, what's the best way to describe this? Maybe you feel like you've lost everything and you're coming from a place of pure potential. You're beginning again, you're starting over again, and you're moving towards accumulating more prosperity or wealth or good fortune into your life. Let's look at your numerology card and see. Okay, so the four is basically... Reminding you to take the necessary and practical steps towards your heart's desires, what you feel you believe you need to do. And it's in the process of taking these steps or creating goals, setting goals for yourself, and then moving closer to these goals one day at a time is going to bring you prosperity. But as far as a yes or no confirmation, for today, let me just look at 
this pile for a minute to see what I'm feeling. What are you feeling? Okay, pile number three. This might sound kind of crazy to you, but I was just looking at these cards and look at the numbers. We've three, four, five. So it's like taking steps towards your desires, your dreams. Three is creative. Four is setting goals for yourself. Five is expecting abundance or prosperity to show up for you in any way, at any time, with any kind of momentum. But then it jumps up to the number eight. So there are like two numbers that are missing here, the number six and the number seven. The number six is the energy of love and acceptance. And try to realize whether you are being overly idealistic in your expectations as to how soon something should show up and manifest for you. The seven represents trust and trusting your own divine wisdom, trusting divine timing, um, and maybe an aspect of a certain kind of life lesson that you might be going through right now, especially since the nothingness card came up here. So I'm going to declare pile number three is a no pile, especially for today, but more specifically for today, because spirit is really wanting you to become more aware of the process and learning patience, not only patience with the process and with life, but patience with yourself and taking gradual steps one day at a time towards whatever your heart desires. And you will eventually reach this goal and this manifestation. Um, but it starts with you every day from this space and this momentum of believing that everything is possible if you set your mind to it and you take the steps towards that and you reaffirm this for yourself and lather, rinse, and repeat. You know what I mean? It's a process. Three, four, five. Three, again, is the intuitive creativity and setting your intentions. Four is towards your goals and taking steps. And then the five is to expect that everything and anything is possible and allow it to show up for you at any time to show you to bring you more prosperity or abundance or whatever it is that you're looking for. Maybe some of you are looking for peace or emotional balance or stability. So again, pile three, the answer is no for this pick a card reading today. I hope these messages resonated with you on a deeper level. Hopefully it confirms something that you probably already know that you need to be doing. And it goes back to the having patience and taking steps one step at a time, which can seem frustrating. But when you dedicate this daily practice for the purpose of your own intentions and manifesting something with spirit, then... You can trust every day that you're on the right path and you're doing the right thing. So feel free to comment below and let us know what you're asking about in today's reading. Maybe you didn't look for a yes or no. Maybe you're just looking for a deeper meaning or understanding or messages from spirit, which is perfectly fine as well. Before you go, don't forget to subscribe. And if you enjoy these messages, do hit the like button. I appreciate your support. In the meantime, have an awesome day, and I'll see you in my next Pick a Card reading. Hello, Pile 4. Welcome to today's Yes or No Pick a Card reading. Confirmations, messages from Spirit. Are you on the right path? Something that you need to know. So let's just dive in, shall we? For those of you who chose the Amazonite and I'm secretly choosing this one too. I'm not sure why. So let's find out together what the messages are. And the yes or no determination will either be determined by, well, myself based on the overall feel of this pile. Or if the numerology card tells us yes or no, then yeah, that will overrule what anything that I say or think or believe. So let's start with your tarot card. Wow. Total happiness, fulfillment, enjoyment. 
Yeah, I said fulfillment. It's like your dreams coming true, your wishes and desires, having everything that you want. Wow. Optimism. Nice. Oh, so, okay. Pile four, you're on the right path. Whatever you are seeking, ha ha, you are amidst some sort of transformation or rebirth in your life. Now I know why I was attracted to this pile. Let's look at your fourth card. <laughs> Refuge, yeah. So this is just kind of describing the energy that you've been in. You've been in uh, hermit mode, basically. But I feel like you are about to come out of hermit mode. You've been working on yourself or something behind the scenes of your life. I feel like you've been working towards emotional fulfillment or abundance. Or for some of you, optimism or discovering worthiness or realizing how worthy you are of achieving your dreams or having the life that you prefer or being abundantly fulfilled with unlimited potential. Did I say that right? Okay, let's look at your next card. So are you on the right path? Oh my God. Pile number four. Yes. Look at this. You've got two tens here. So this represents a physical manifestation of something in your life. Money, abundance, opportunity. What's equally important here is to remember that abundance isn't just money. Money is something that was created by man. The universe did not create money. Okay? So before there was money, <laughs> there was trade, there was bartering, um, there was gold, there was silver. We exchanged a monetary value um, for food or shelter or, you know, whatever it was that we needed for our daily life to take care of ourselves and to take care of our family. Wow. So I don't know why I went so deep into that, but money, yeah, try not to limit how abundance shows up in your life by simply expecting money to show up in your life. Although in pile number four, if you chose pile four, you are about to receive a whole bunch of abundance. Something, look at this, you have another 10. There's a 10, a new beginning, a rebirth, excitement, fulfillment, happiness, manifested prosperity, abundance, optimism. I feel like this is what you're coming out of. And even if you go to a job every day and have to face the world and all the people in it, <laughs> only to return home, to return to your refuge or your cave or your safe space, there's nothing wrong with that. This is how you recharge and recalibrate and readjust and relax, basically. So, obviously, pile number four, and this is like a big fat yes pile. I'm curious what you're asking about today, but if you want to comment below, uh, let us all know what you're asking about today in this yes or no. Um, but this is like a triple yes. It's a triple physical manifestation that is already showing up for you. It's already all around you. It's up to you to become aware of it and pay attention and take notice of all these opportunities that are arising for you every day to fulfill your potential, your dreams, your desires, whatever it is that you want. So... Wow. Before you go, don't forget to subscribe. If you enjoy my readings, do hit the like button as well. It lets other people know that, you know, these are kind of cool readings or maybe a different perspective, hopefully, because I love doing things different than everybody else. But I hope you appreciate my yes or no pick a card readings pile number four. Thanks again for coming by. And again, yes is the answer for pile four. So have an awesome one and I'll see you in my next video. Bye for now.